Bill Gates, Epstein, Epstein is what I wanted to title this video, but I thought a lot of people wouldn't get it because it doesn't make much grammatical sense. But you get it, right? Epstein the verb, I'm Epstein the person. Anyway, Bill Gates whacked Jeffrey Epstein, I think. And in this video, I'm gonna show you why. Then I'm gonna show you a teacher coming out to her students because reasons and her reaction. And finally, I show you really, really stupid politicians, both from the left and from the right, from Canada and from the United States. Because in this channel, we're all about diversity and inclusion. I was getting ready to go to sleep the other day and I saw this clip of an interview with Bill Gates and I found it very, very interesting. And I'm gonna show it to you guys, but keep in mind when you're watching at the end, the smile he has, a, a sinister, awkward smile. The fidgeting he's going with his fingers, how he wants to change the subject. And let's not forget, as she's gonna say at the beginning, he knew when he met Jeffrey that he had been convicted of diddling kids. Check it out. At that time, uh, that you had a number of meetings with Jeffrey Epstein, who, when you met him 10 years ago, he was convicted of soliciting prostitution from minors. What did you know about him when you were meeting with him, as you've said yourself, uh, in the hopes of raising money? Uh, you know, I had dinners with him. Uh, I regret doing that. He had relationships with uh, people he said, you know, would give to Global Health, which is a uh, interest I have, you know, not nearly enough philanthropy goes in that direction. Uh, you know, those meetings were, were a mistake. They didn't result in uh, what he purported and I cut them off. You know, that goes back a long time ago now. Uh, there's, you know, so there's nothing new on that. It was reported that you continue to meet with him over several years um, and that, in other words, a number of meetings. Um, what did you do when you found out about his background? Well, and, you know, I've said I regretted having those dinners uh, and there's nothing, absolutely nothing new on that. Is there a lesson for you, for anyone else looking, looking at this? Well, he's dead, so, uh, you know, in general, you always have to be careful. Uh, and, you know, the, you know I'm, I'm very proud of what we've done in philanthropy, very proud of the work of the foundation. Uh, you know, I, that's, that's what I get up every day and focus on. Bill, Bill, Bill. I'm starting to think those glasses and the cozy sweaters are just to seem like a nice guy, but he may be the devil, or maybe not. Comment down below, or not. Our next story is a teacher who came out to her students because reasons, we're gonna hear why, and her reaction is just, uh, let's watch. So I just came out to my students. I've been wanting to do this for the past two years. Sorry, I'm like so emotional. All right, let's take a little break here because the cringe will kill me. My goodness. Can you imagine if something bad actually happened to this woman? Let's keep going. Um, and I just haven't had the courage to do it out of fear of just judgment, mostly from their parents. But I had these kids in fourth grade and now I have them in sixth and I'm sending them to middle school and I love these kids so much and I trust them and they make me feel safe and I know they love me and it just felt right and I, I did it and it was so beautiful. <laughs> They had so many questions, which I loved. They wanted to learn and they wanted to learn about me and they were so eager and a few of them clapped, which was <laughs> so precious. Um, a few of them clapped? Yeah, I don't think so. But keep believing what you want, lady. And what's this about she feels safe with the students? Does anybody else think that's weird? Why is she making school about herself? I remember when I was younger, my teachers, even my camp counselors, didn't want me to know who they were dating. Yet this woman goes to her class and wants them to know her sexuality. Why? Because this type of person are constantly seeking out validation. Constantly. I don't want to keep going with this person because it's going to drive me nuts. Make sure you know who's teaching your kids because it could be a cycle like this. Now let's talk about another type of cycle. Like, for example, the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, who had this gaffe. 
I will never apologize for standing up for an LGDP, uh, LGT, LBT, LGBTQ2 plus. Uh, no. I don't really blame him. The LGBTQ alphabet gets quite long, quite quick, and you can't keep up. Now, would you think that that would sink him in the voting booth? No. What about blackface? No. He just won re-election because he's great. And that's, you know, as left as you go. I just showed you a left politician being an idiot. I want to show you a right politician being an idiot. Brian Kemp from Atlanta, the governor, claiming there's a vaccine for AIDS. I don't know where he got that from. Let's take a look out this out there because they haven't been uh, all three fully authorized yet and then mixed right. messages right. out of the Biden administration. And plus, just like the AIDS vaccine, mandate net didn't work. I never heard of the AIDS Fauci ouchy, but hey, maybe he has better sources than I do. Sometimes people criticize the show and say, hey, you only criticize left politicians. And there's just a lot more to criticize on the left. But when there's something to criticize on the right, here we are calling them out. Because, as I just said, there is no Fauci ouchie for the AIDS. And since we're on the topic of Fauci ouchies, check this out. Hi, this is a little message to the unvaccinated. Ugh. You are killing everyone. It's your fault. You're being selfish. So get the vaccine because I'm vaccinated. I am vaccinated. Okay. And so I'm protected because the vaccine is safe and effective. So if you're around me and you're unvaccinated, then you're putting me at, at, well, you're not, you're, no, okay. So you're selfish because if I'm protected and you're around me, then I'm, then I'm fine. But you're, but you're me, sorry. If you're not vaccinated, then you're not, it's your, um, you're racist is what I'm saying. The man has a point. Get vaccinated or you're racist. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. I'll see you next time.